I use the Chemapure Elite and uh, Nuvo 16 and you know a couple teaspoons on each, in a bag on each side and change it out like once a month and it just keeps everything pure and clean, no phosphates, everything's good to go. Uh, it's pretty much a worry free system because of the Chemapure. Hi everybody, John here with another FinCast. Today we are at MACNA 2015, Washington, D.C. I'm in the Jellyfish Art Booth, and I got to tell you, you know, Jellyfish, desktop Jellyfish is a concept, sort of emerged at MACNA last year. Uh, this year there are several people displaying, but Jellyfish Art has actually come up with a, a new design, and we talked to the owner of the company a little bit about that, Joey Turner, uh, and, and this is a, I think this is going to be a game changer for people who want to keep jellyfish at home. So here's some more information on how to do that if you're interested. But it is a, a little bit over two gallon display tank, um, which will be retailing for about $300, including jellyfish, uh, including shipping, including food, including salt, biological starter. Um, so it's an all-in-one package, and you're able to um, set it up right away. Uh, and uh, we aquaculture all these jellyfish in Coconut Creek, Florida. So on the inside, we've got um, uh, a wall in the front. It's, it's operated by an airlift, and in the back we have filtration, where uh, the, the first wall, uh, the water will flow through there to prevent the jellies going into the uh, filtration area, and then flow up with a bubble lift into the back zone. So the back zone's water level will be a little bit higher than the front zone's water level at all times, and on the bottom we have a directionally influenced uh, channel down here, that lifts the water up with the jellyfish, um, so that gravity-fed back area gives uh, calm and even flow for the jellyfish so that they don't get all tossed around and tumbled. Um, and it, it creates a, a really nice house for them. So feeding, we have a dry food. It's very easy. You mix it with a little bit of water, add it to the tank, and that's all you'll have to do. Um, with these, these models as well, um, the flow being on the bottom of the tank does a really good job of making sure that that doesn't settle there and it ends up getting filtrated out instead of uh, having to take a siphon hose and cleaning up the bottom every once in a while. So for these, we recommend doing a half gallon water change once a week and once a month doing a one gallon water change. Um, but besides that, it's got a removable foam insert on the inside, which uh, you would take off the top up here and then uh, access that foam insert, pull it out, and uh, give it a little rinse down, um, replace a Chemipure Blue Nano Packet once a month. And then besides that, that's it. I know this is kind of a new design, but you guys have really been, you've been at it for a while now. What is different between this design and the designs of some of the round tanks? So the designs of some of the round tanks is a traditional chrysal design, and what that does is it simulates an open water environment with a circular flow. So when the bubbles come up, it'll release that water out here and create a slow but uh, circular flow, very gentle. And um, gentle is the word of the day for the jellyfish. It's very important to make sure that you don't have any excessive flow or uh, anything that might be able to damage jellyfish, as they are delicate, um, but they're able to live in uh, pretty much anywhere, out in inner coastals around the world. Um, so with this one, it takes on a new approach to the, uh, the flow inside of these tanks, and it brings it from a circular flow to a little bit more of a lift design, which is a slow um, rise of the water on the inside of the tank that keeps the jellyfish elevated within the viewing area. For people who are wondering, well, where the heck do I get jellyfish, or what do I do if they die? How does that work? Jellyfish are available at jellyfishart.com, where we offer culture and send them out all over the United States, Monday through Friday. All right, and so when you buy these, how do you get the jellyfish to you? So we ship them out in a 8x8x7 uh, eight eight box, double wrapped in bags, and it also comes with an acclimation bag, Kemi Blue Nano sample packets. Um, so we'll, we'll send them out just about anywhere in the U.S. except for um, Hawaii. We can't get it out there, but I've sent a couple to Alaska as well. So thanks to Joey for giving us a tour. Now, for a lot of people are wondering, well, how do I get the jellyfish? And Joey addressed that a little bit in my interview. So after you buy the tank and you, uh, uh, the tank arrives, you've got it all set to go, then you just go to the uh, website, jellyfishheart.com, and there's a special page. You just type in your code right there, and then they will send you the jellyfish. They arrive at your front door. It's a piece of cake. But I'll tell you what, I think the age of the desktop jellyfish has arrived, and it's something you might want to consider. They certainly are peaceful, and there have been a lot of people here at the booth very interested in keeping jellyfish on their desktop. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next FinCast.